What's up guys, Amage is back in the game, so welcome to a new episode of Soma. Something's freaking me out here, because the screen is flickering a lot. But we will hear what those audio logs have to say. Strasky, are you there? I hear you, Herbie. What's up? Uh, just wanted to check in. I have to go do something. I might not be around for a few days, okay? Rally her relieving the listening post? Must be important. It is, Strask. It is. Okay then. Stay safe. Omicron, can you hear us? Loud and clear. Everyone alright? We will be as soon as we make friends with the power suits. I'm sure you'll get used to it. Look at that. Just wanted to check in before we pass the last working Lumar probe. Guys? Any last words to Omicron? Don't forget to pick us up. You heard that, right? Don't worry, we won't forget. Alright. Heading into radio silence. Good luck, guys. Tau, please respond. This is Rowley Herber calling from Omicron. Please respond, Tau. Unable to connect. Lumar relay out of range. Unable to connect. Lumar relay out of range. Okay. Okay, then we are already done down here. Holy shit, where are you? Poison the well. That's what he just said. You know what, I think I'm going to use this thing here now. Because up there is another one, I know that. <coughs> and I'm not sure if I'm at full health. Shouldn't have done that. Holy shit. Whew. I'm kind of freaked out again. And I really don't like that. The music is freaking me out so much. The sound of this game. Holy shit. Please let there be enough light. Oh. <laughs> the first thing I saw up here was the dark corner right here. I don't like this. Okay. Okay, okay. Main entrance for what? Danger restricted area. I don't like this. Check your air supply and systems. So, what do you guys have to say, huh? That much, really? Well, I just see that there's no head. That's kind of scary. They all have no head. Okay. Nobody wants to talk to me. I get that. Okay. Well, then. Cool. So, override. 
Incorrect floor selected. Ah, okay. Upper floor. Override. Removing lockdown. Yay, I like that. What was that sound? I don't like this. That's the power room. Let's check the power room. What do we have here? Don't tell me there's nothing in here. There's nothing in here. Okay. For fuck's sake. Oh. The game saves. That's not a good sign. That's never a good sign. Could you please leave me alone? Oh, something is standing there. But it really is just standing right there. It does nothing else. He won't talk to me. I can't open this. Okay. You know what? Fuck this shit. <laughs> I'm going there first. Ooh. Maybe I will find another way around. Ah. Shit, doesn't really look like it. Okay, there are audio locks. Closing this because for reasons. Because of reasons, because of obvious reasons though. Well, I think you know what I mean. Oh, something to eat! Come on, eat it. it! It doesn't look spoiled, it looks really good. So not good, but it looks eatable. Okay, there's nothing in here except those audio logs. So let's listen to them. Johan Ross was found dead on the climber this morning. The ARC team went down a couple of days ago, but I see no reason to suspect them playing a part in his death. The climber can't be operated from the abyss, so there was a scheduled retrieval. The climber returned with only the lifeless body of Alpha member Johan Ross. No traces of the ARC team. Cameron Eames Lansky. All studying the body inside containment. I'll follow up with whatever they find. Delenda S. The WoW has been getting more aggressive, pushing all systems to their limits. Ironically, the dead Dr. Johan Ross would be the perfect person to ask why the WoW is making such a big buzz about his passing. After all, the WoW isn't supposed to want anything. And definitely not to mourn people. The system overload affects the staff considerably. Headaches, loss of sleep, unwarranted stress. And it seems to be getting worse. I could use some advice if you can get through. Delenda Est. Things are out of hand. The staff looks like they're about to explode. Every other person walks around with nosebleeds, and the rest keep wiping stains of blood from their eyes to keep them from overflowing. That's to do with the WoW trying to free Ross somehow, for sure. At this point, I wouldn't be surprised if the body just got up and left. Rally Herber, our dispatcher, has been snooping around asking questions she shouldn't. She says she's going down into the abyss to find Alpha. I can't bring myself to stop her. Ah! Holy shit, what happened to her? Can we send them? Unable to establish link, okay. And actually, I realize now that I have to go back in this other room and I'm kind of afraid that... The thing might not be 
at the same spot anymore. I didn't thought about that in the first place. Maybe I should have just walk keep walking. Let's hope it's still in its place. I can hear it. Yeah, it's there. It still is there. Oh, it's getting louder when I get to those to this door. There it is. It's crying. Um Okay. What do I do? Oh shit. You don't know I'm here, right? Okay. Oh. Phew. Um, I think that I have to go there. Can I throw something to... It's not even moving. Okay. Run! Ooh. Holy shit, now I'm freaked out. Ooh. Oh. Holy shit. That holds for long. Holy fucking shit. Having goosebumps almost all over my body. Oh shit. Are you serious? Okay. Whatever. Oh. Oh shit. Oh, I can't close the fucking door. Shut the door, Cap. Oh. What's happening? I don't know. Lock the door. It's locked. What's going on? Who? Oh. Piss off another one of Wow's monsters. We have everything we need, right? Yeah. yeah. Let's get to work. Oh shit! That was. Fucking intense. So, what do we do? What do we have to do now? We need to assemble your new body with the things you collected. Just stuff all of it into the suit with the dead body. Great. Okay. This is crazy. Don't worry, it'll work. Just make sure it's all bunched together with the structure gel connecting all the parts. Alright, try activating the suit from the terminal again. Okay. Then calibrating. I can't believe we're doing this. It will be fine. Then why don't we put you in the suit? 
I was gonna suggest that if you refused. You'd go without me. I need to do this, Simon. This is important. I need to launch the Ark. You'd really do it? Change body? Yes. If you want to stay here, I'm not gonna stand in your way. I don't want to tell you what to do. Won't it be like before? Close my eyes and then... And then open them again. All right. Let's do it. Thank you, Simon. Go sit in the pilot seat in the next room. You might need to boot it up. Wow. Oh. Okay. We need to loop back the activity manifested by your current Cortex chip, run it through the amplifier, feed it into the new chip, and then make sure it's synced. You lost me halfway there. <laughs> you don't really need <laughs> me to understand too. it. Just make them line up. I have no idea what I'm doing. Almost. Is this thing still trying to get in here? I hear someone knocking. Oh, come on. Yay! That's everything. You can climb into the pilot seat now. Already? I have everything under control. So please, have a seat. Please have a seat. Let's do this. Sorry about any discomfort. This should be over soon. It's like having a picture taken. But with the most expensive camera in the world. You know. Indians saw photos would steal their souls. In this case, they'd be right. Uh -huh. <laughs> That's not funny. <laughs> but he made the same joke when he was with Dr. Munchi. Why was it still talking? It's the same like before. Catherine, why was he still talking? That's how it works, you know that. What do you mean? You know it's not magic. You were copied. The sleeping Simon in the seat was copied. And now you are here, just like Simon lived on in Toronto. God damn you, Kath. Two Simons? There can't be two Simons. What did you think would happen? That you were going to take my mind and put it into another body, like a brain transplant. I'm sorry, it wouldn't work that way. You realize how messed up this is? Please, I didn't mean to upset you. How did you expect me to react to this shit? Please stop. You're fucking disgusting. What's gonna happen to him? He'll sleep for a while, a few days. And then what? Wake up in this fucking nightmare again? All alone? Oh, so cruel. Well, what do you want me to do with him? Make friends? Let him know that we have to leave him behind when we go into the abyss? What if... What if he didn't need to wake up? You'd do that? I don't know. Maybe. There. I set it up for you. Hit the switch if you want to drain his battery. He'll die within a minute. I'd rather not stay plugged in any longer. Oh, she takes the easy way out and we have to... Holy shit. Actually, yeah, there are two, part, two, two sides on this. I mean... First side is, yeah, he's alive, but, and I d really don't want to kill him, because it's me, obviously, but the other side of it is that if he wakes up here, like he said, with no one, he knows no one, and is in this fucking nightmare just like we are, that's not good, so I really think, like the other ones, I hope to release them so they are not suffering I really hope I'm doing the right thing
I'm really sorry, man. Holy shit, that's it. Within a few seconds, now he's dead. He was alive just a few seconds ago. Okay. Holy shit. Well, actually, I would say that, yeah, we will end this episode right here. Um... We'll move on in the next one. So I really hope you liked this episode, even if it was a little bit dark in the end. So, well, yeah, I really hope you liked it. If you did, hit the like button down below, leave me a comment, and then I will see you in the next episode of Soma. Uh.